Dublin, Ireland's capital, is a beloved global city renowned for its rich history, vibrant food scene, stunning architecture, captivating stories, and lively pubs. Nestled on Ireland's east coast at the mouth of the River Liffey, Dublin is one of the country's oldest cities, with roots tracing back to prehistoric times. Dublin's prosperity extends globally, making it a key center for tourism with attractions ranging from historic castles and churches to lush parks and bustling pubs. In this video, we'll explore the 10 best places to visit in Dublin. Before we dive in, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. Now let's get started. Number 1. Trinity College, located in College Green, is Ireland's most prestigious university and a popular tourist attraction. Notable spots include the Long Room in the Old Library and the Book of Kells. The Book of Kells, a 9th century illuminated gospel manuscript, is displayed in the Old Library and spans 680 pages, all in Latin. The Long Room, renowned for its floor-to-ceiling bookshelves, is a key highlight and one of Dublin's most photographed locations. The college also houses the National Science Gallery and the Douglas Hyde Gallery. Founded in 1592 by Queen Elizabeth I, Trinity College boasts illustrious alumni such as Isaac Newton, J.J. Thompson, and Jawaharlal Nehru. It is accessible via bus or train. 2. Grafton Street or Sride Grafton is a vibrant shopping thoroughfare linking Trinity College and St. Stephen's Green in Dublin. This bustling street hosts a range of renowned brands, including Weir's Jewelers, Laura Ashley, and Oasis. It features a mix of shopping options, from budget-friendly to luxury, and both new and vintage items. Notable shopping centers like Stevens Green and Powerscourt are located here. Besides shopping, visitors can enjoy various street performers, or buskers, who often gain international recognition, such as Damien Rice. For dining, Bewley's Oriental Cafe is a popular choice. During the Christmas season, Grafton Street transforms with stunning decorations and festive lights. 3. St. Stephen's Green St. Stephen's Green is a serene public park and garden renowned for its charming flowerbeds, well-maintained shrubbery, and tranquil duck pond. Established in 1880 by Lord Ardalon, the park is named after a medieval leper hospital dedicated to St. Stephen. It features picturesque gazebos, a children's playground, and a lake inhabited by swans and ducks. The park's peaceful atmosphere contrasts with its historical significance. During the 1916 Easter Rising, it was the site of a significant confrontation between the Irish Citizen Army and the British Army. Visitors can explore information boards and statues that commemorate the events and figures of the uprising, offering a glimpse into this pivotal moment in Irish history. 4. Temple Bar, situated on Dublin's southern bank of the River Liffey, is a vibrant area celebrated for its Irish folk music, pubs, bars, and eclectic restaurants. This lively district embodies the true spirit of Ireland with its bustling nightlife, quirky boutiques, and diverse dining options. The standout attraction is the Temple Bar, a renowned pub famous for its locally crafted beers and traditional live music. It offers an extensive selection of Irish whiskies and is a prime spot for those who enjoy lively music and a fun atmosphere. While the experience is memorable, be prepared for higher prices at this popular venue. Whether you're after great drinks or captivating folk tunes, Temple Bar delivers an authentic taste of Dublin's cultural vibrancy. 5. The Haypenny Bridge, located on Bachelors Walk Street in Dublin's North City, is a historic pedestrian bridge spanning the Liffey River, connecting O'Connell Street to the bustling Temple Bar area. Famous for its live Irish folk music, restaurants, and pubs, the bridge is a prominent landmark in the city. Open 24 sevenths and free to cross, the bridge is made of cast iron, extending 43 meters in length and 3 meters in width. Established in 1816, it was designed to replace the passenger ferries that once crossed the river. Originally, a toll of a half penny was charged to cross which led to the bridge's nickname. This toll was abolished in 1919. 6. Phoenix Park, one of the largest enclosed parks in a European city, is a stunning green space in Dublin. Established in 1662 under King Charles II, the park features a variety of attractions including monuments, gardens, a fort, and the Dublin Zoo. Among its notable landmarks is the Wellington Monument, Europe's tallest obelisk at 62 meters. 
The park also houses the residences of the President of Ireland and the U.S. Ambassador to Ireland. The Magazine Fort, a 1735 ammunition storage fort, is located in the southeast part of the park. Additionally, the Victorian People's Flower Garden, spanning 22 acres, offers lakes, garden ornaments, and children's play areas. 7. St. Patrick's Cathedral, one of the two Church of Ireland cathedrals in Dublin, was originally constructed between 1191 and 1270. Standing at 42 meters tall, it is the largest church in Ireland. Although much of the cathedral was reconstructed in the 1870s, giving it a Victorian-era architectural style, its interior combines medieval and Victorian elements, creating a stunning visual experience. Notably, the cathedral features a door associated with Gerald Moore Fitzgerald, who purportedly used it to negotiate a truce with another earl in 1492. Today, the cathedral hosts various public ceremonies, including Remembrance Day and the renowned service of nine lessons and carols. The seat of the Archbishop of Ireland is located in Christ Church Cathedral. 8. National Botanic Gardens Founded in 1795, the National Botanical Gardens in Glasnevin stands as a pivotal hub for botanical research in the country. Located just a few kilometers from the city center, the gardens feature over 20,000 plant specimens across a vast green landscape. The complex includes glass houses like the Palm House and the Curvilinear Range, which have undergone several refurbishments due to issues with rotting wood and iron. The gardens have experienced various renovations since their establishment, addressing deterioration from neglect. Additionally, the gardens house a museum showcasing a diverse collection of plant products, including seeds and fruits, offering valuable insights into botany and plant life. 9. Killiney, a picturesque suburb on Dublin's outskirts in Dunlara Rathdown, is a haven for nature lovers. Key attractions include Killiney Hill, Killiney Beach, and local parks like Sorrento and Dillon's Park. Killiney Hill Park is renowned for its historic monuments, such as Victorian obelisks and medieval pyramids, and offers stunning sunset views. Killiney Beach, with its rocky, pebbled shore, is ideal for a relaxing visit. Sorrento Park and Dillon's Park provide serene settings for leisurely strolls. The Vico Baths, though known for chilly waters, offer a refreshing swim for the adventurous. For a touch of 18th-century charm, Fitzpatrick Castle Hotel, which also offers accommodation, is a must-see. 10. The Cliffs of Mower, one of Ireland's top natural attractions, stretch over 8 kilometers along County Clare's Atlantic coast and rise up to 214 meters above sea level. Offering stunning panoramic views of the ocean and surrounding landscapes, they boast a geological history that spans over 300 million years with rock layers formed from ancient seas, volcanic activity, and glaciers. Visitors can enjoy guided walks, explore the visitor center with its exhibits, or simply admire the breathtaking scenery. Rich in cultural significance, the cliffs feature prominently in Irish mythology and history and served as a dramatic filming location in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince.